So comment, subscribe, dislike, or like. Check out the links in the descriptions for other of my um, sites, other activities that I'm involved in. Got a whole bunch of Facebook groups you can check out. I play multiple card games, so I do music among other things, so check out the links in the description. So this is my Is It Combo um, Milk Combo Milk Day. So so the idea is to use galvanic iterations with preferably Tasha's hideous laughter because it exiles cards and the fact that it can do a lot of cards as opposed to maddening uh, cacophony. It only does eight unless you know you do cooker, but typically we do you know you try to do the combo early. You only you want to just do eight because you'll play this for two. Of course, you play this for two, so a total of four mana in order to mill your point for 16 cards, you know, which is close to 20. And you want to you know, try to do this you know, at least three times, right? But uh, Hideous Laughter could, could do more because what if Hideous Laughter does mills 10? I was in a scenario where. Um, I played hideous. Uh, I played this. My opponent had uh, you'll you'll see it in the gameplay. My opponent had uh, thirty eight um, cards. I played this with galvanic iteration and made my opponent uh, mill um, thirty cards. So it was fifteen, roughly. Well, however much it was, it probably was like ten for one copy and five for the other copy. But you get the point. In total, I was able to mill thirty cards off of off the combo. And then my opponent only had eight cards left, and I was able to finish them off with a maddening for eight. So let's go through a list because I just immediately started talking about the deck. Um, so remote Merfolk, uh, four copies of Merfolk, Wind Robber, four copies of Ruined Crab, four copies of Ardent Elementalist, four copies of Galvanic Iteration, four copies of Divided by Zero four copies of Maddening Cacophony, four copies, uh, no, two copies of Raven Form, four copies of Hideous Laughter, four co uh, copies of Consuming Tide, which is like our blue board white, four copies of Burn Down the House, which is our main board white. <laughs> gotta have some board control since you're focusing on milling, you gotta have a way to clear your points board. Four copies of Island, four mountains, four river glide pathways, four storm carved coast, which is a new addition from the new set, which is nice. We finally got it. Uh, four Certland Frost Park, which definitely comes in handy because it's a, a land board white plus it helps us with the hill scribe too and evolving walls, which helps us with you know deck getting so we can. Uh, Get to our key cards, but also um, combos with our Ruin Crab to get us more mills. So it's definitely a good turn to play. Like turn one, you want to play like a, you know you know an island, drop a Ruin Crab. Then next turn, hopefully you have another Ruin Crab, which is even better, right? You get a, you have another Ruin Crab. Use the blue land you have to play the Ruin Crab, so you have two Ruin Crabs in play on turn two, and then play the Evolving Moss. Your opponent will mill six, then you use Evolve Rounds effect, and your opponent will mill six more. So that is your first, that, that is a basic, um, you know, two turn uh, mill 12 combo just with two room crabs and an Evolving Wilds and an Island. And after that, if you draw another Evolving Wilds, then you have two room crabs and you can move from there. I originally was, you know, thinking of doing the, the copy concept of. Playing some cards that become copies of Ruin Crab. And, and ironically, I played against somebody who literally did that exact strategy. Plus, they had some like, it was like a blue green build. So that was kind of. So let's see. As you can see, not many creatures. There's only 12 creatures in the deck. 
but that's because most of our, our most of our strategy is to mill, mill, right, and then combo, get as much, a lot of mills off, and then just use some board wipes and cards to help us control the board, slow our opponent, slow our opponents down, while you know we we mill them, get some wipe here to the land. So basic board control and then just mill, mill, mill as much as we can. Sometimes we try to make sure we hold off and save one of the maddenings and at least uh, use one of them with his kicker at least once. That would drastically uh, increase our chances of hideous laughter, you know, milling for a lot, especially if you combine it with galvanic iterations. But there'll be times you'll 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 combine manding with galvanic iterations just to you know, sixteen. And and I've won, you know, many, many times doing that. My opponent gets down to sixteen cards and I'm like, alright, perfect. I got this and this game over. You know what I mean? Because at least that's guaranteed, you know, you're guaranteed to uh mill six sixteen with those two cards combined for four mana. Hideous left that you don't know how many cards it's going to get uh, exiled. But, you know, it is a good card. It can, in many ways, it definitely can, it mill, it can definitely mill more, more cards, uh, exile more cards, you know, get rid of more cards from your opponent's deck than the maddening, but it depends. Maddening definitely puts in its work when you're. I, like I just beat somebody who had 195 cards in their in their deck, which means they had more than that. They had like 200 and something, <laughs> right? 200 and something cards, um, but they had like 195 in their deck, and I was like, damn, the the milling I got to do. I, I ended up having like two rune crafts that I was putting in somewhere, but I definitely I think I maddening. Uh, Three times, so like I did it three times. Obviously, I got it back with Ardent Elementless, which has the ability when you play it, you return an instant to me or source it to your hand. So I, you know, I'll be cycling the manning and the hideous laughters. I even combine Consuming Tide with um, Ardent Elements Elementless, so that way I can reuse her. So I'll, I'll pick another creature like a rune crab to stay on the field and then bounce bounce the elementalis back to my hand so I can use it to grab something. Especially if I have eight mana, then I could especially I could be like play her for four, for example, and then grab my uh maddening if I need it to come up on its deck in half or just get the hideous laughter so I can, you know to use it with galvanic iteration and then play the consuming ties to bounce her back to the hand um, keeping you know the room crab or the, 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 whatever I have on the field that I want to keep whatever is on the field keep it on the field and then bounce her back so that way I have her for later on and then the following turn you know I'll uh, do the Galvanic generation with whatever other card, like let's say Hideous Laughter. I do that, mill my opponent for a lot. And then since Galvanic can be played from the, from the graveyard, I don't need to add it back to my hand. Alright, so. So the following turn, I'd be able to, uh, you know, I'll pull off the combo again if I already have a Hideous Laughter or a Maddening. Cacophony combined with the galvanic iteration in the graveyard, go from there. So, you want to get two uses out of galvanic iteration. So, you want to use it in time with, with either one of these, whichever one, you know, whichever one you end up using it with. And then later on, use it with another one. Like, for example, more likely I, I use galvanic iteration with Madden Cacophony, Cacophony, right? On turn four, that I can just instantly mill my point for sixteen, and then on turn five, 
uh, use uh, no, no, turn five, turn six, I need six. Um, use galvanic iterations along with uh, PS laughter on turn six and mail my point for a, a whole bunch. So there's that strategy. Just depends on how you want to do it. Um, burn down the house. Um, I've I've combined this with galvanic iterations to make the tokens, so I can get, so I can have six on one red devil tokens, and I've used them to you know to to as a secondary win con instead of just trying to win through mill. You know I try to make a whole bunch of copies of these tokens and use them to do a lot of damage as much as possible. And um, I use divide by zero as the learn ability, which let's go to the sideboard. We have environmental sciences, two copies of them. Scratch, uh, start from scratch. Um, this, this is more, you know, in case I need something to destroy an artifact, but um, the, the, the one damage to any target uh, can come in handy because you could potentially win the game with it. Um, expanded anatomy seconds 